Hi guys, this is a, a rig I've uh, just tied. Um, it's for a bottom bait. It's either called the parrot rig or the claw rig. Um, Terry Hearn used it to catch the parrot, obviously. Um, I find it quite hard to tie on camera, but that's because I can't see that far. <laughs> I don't need my glasses on. Um, just going on to the other rig, I had a few comments saying that I should have took the, the uh, video down because uh, it was a death rig. Uh, you'll find uh, I'm not going to name them Shane, but you'll find that that rig is used by some of the top anglers in the country. Uh, and also, um, is my channel aimed at kids? Well, no. Has Most people know that upload, uh, when you put on YouTube, you tell them that it's 18 plus or whatever. So if I do swear or anything like that, then that's up to me. And up to me if I was to get fined off YouTube or whatever. Uh, I know it sounds a bit of a rant, but uh, quite a few negative, uh, quite a bit of negative feedback on that last video. But, but there you are, it's not to worry. Um, so, hopefully this will help somebody out, and that's the main thing. Um, I love making videos, I hope uh, people like this video. If they don't dislike it, I don't care really. Um, I love doing it. And we're in lockdown, and it gives me something to do because I'm not sleeping very well. Being as my daughters are working with COVID and stuff like that. Uh, so, here we go. Uh, Hope you like it guys, cheers. Well then guys, uh, you join me again with another rig. So today I'm gonna try and uh, tie the claw rig, or the parrot rig, very similar, that Terry Hearn did, so we'll have a go. Anyway, today I'm using uh, Camotex Soft in 20 pound, dark camo. I'm using some Starbait SB2Bs, in a size 6 as a hook. Uh, I'm using a Fox liner liner and some Fox silicon for the hook. That's pretty much it really. Uh, I'm going to use an anti-tangle sleeve and I'm going to mount some baits on and show you how it works. Right, so first of all uh, get your Camotex soft Take about 10 or 12 inches of that and cut it off. Now I'll keep going on about these braid braid blades, but seriously, you need to get some guys. These are only cheap on eBay. Uh, they absolutely are mega. We never own anything so sharp as them, to be honest. Absolutely awesome. Right. So what I do now is tie, on the very end, just tie a little figure of eight to hold your baits on, like so. And go to mount your baits. So today I'm putting a 15 mil on, and I'm putting a little piece of corn, uh, just for the video really, but that'll be your sight bob. You can use any corn. I so say you just uh, put whatever you're confident in really. And this is what I'm confident in, so. So we'll just put this on, first of all. Oh. It's harder than it looks, guys, on camera. It's a pain. <laughs> uh, put a stop in. Let's just cut that off. Come on, there we go. Just put a stop in, I'll do. Snip that off. And then we've got the bait on the end. Right, next thing to do is to get a piece of hook silicon. About five mils something like that, you don't need a lot. Uh, and thread it onto your rig. You can use shrink tube for this as well if you wanted to, but I'm just using uh, hook silicon. Oh. 
come on, there you go. That's it. Flipping heck. Right, so that's that on there. Then get your hook and place your hook onto the silicon. Like so. There we go. It's a little bit fiddly. We'll get there in the end. There we go. Now this should be right on, right down there, right in the actual uh, corner. And I'll show you where in a minute. And give it a little bit of space to move as well. Okay. So then we go up and we want to tie a um, normal hair rig. So here we go with the hair rig. Six, six of those, wet it so we can get it through. There we go. That's quite nice. And then we want to put a kicker on. Now, as I said, you can use uh, shrink tubing. I'm using a box kicker, one like that, just like a funny end. Right, next thing to do is once you've pulled that on, uh, you've got your kicker on, put an anti tangle sleeve on, just spread that on. Now, this work rig works off uh, being a very short rig and works off weight. I'll show you that by the reason now why. So, I tried to tie this one very short. So I just tie a normal figure of eight so it can go onto your quick link. Wet it down and give it a pull. Make sure it's all tight and then cut the excess off. Pull your liner liner back up. Uh, sorry, your anti-tangle sleeve back up, I should say. Like so. And there we have it. Right, so this rig works better as a short rig. And I'll show you that why now. When this rig is in effect, it uses the weight of everything. Oh God, I can't even set it straight. There we go. So you can even have it upside down like so, if it landed like that in the water. As soon as it tightens up, it turns straight away and it nails the bottom left every time. Doesn't matter how it lands in the water, because of the weight, it will just keep turning and turning every time. I mean, it's not much of a test. I don't believe in these tests that much because it's different, acts different underwater. But as soon as the rig, <clears throat> as soon as the rig, <clears throat> excuse me, tightens up to that lead, it will, um, turn can flip and turn straight away it doesn't matter how it lands in the water it can be anything as soon as you tighten up there's no way it can get escape it's an absolutely awesome rig uh, you use the rubber right on the bend there to make it flip and turn it doesn't matter how you move it it just keeps flipping and turning every time uh, give it a go guys it's a real simple rig it's awkward for me. It looks awkward for me to tie on here, but believe me, it's not all that awkward. It's just that I find it hard to find, uh, tie on camera. Cheers, guys. Thank you.